Millions of stars in the Milky Way, located in the plane of our barred spiral galaxy in the Orion spiral arm. The Sun and the whole solar system orbit around 27,000 to 28,000 light years away from the center of the disk, which measures 50,000 light years in radius. It takes roughly 240 million years for the Sun to complete one orbit. The environment of the solar system is sparse. The nearest stars, Proxima Centauri and the double system of Alpha Centauri, are 4.2 to 4.4 light years away from us, and there are only 11 stars within 10 light years. By solar system, we mean the Sun and all the variously sized celestial bodies orbiting it. The solar system is the area where the gravitation of the Sun is dominant. This is a sphere of about two light years in radius. On its border, the gravity of the Sun is equal to the gravity of the nearest stars. The solar system is completely filled with solar wind, a continuous flow of electrically charged particles emitted by the Sun. The solar system consists of the Sun, the planets, the moons of the planets, asteroids and comets, meteorites and interplanetary matter, i.e. dust and gas. Eight planets orbit the Sun. Six of these have moons, the exceptions being Mercury and Venus. In the order of their distance from the Sun, the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Planets can be divided into two separate groups, four terrestrial or Earth-type planets and four gas giants, also called Jovian planets. Terrestrial planets are closer to the Sun. They are smaller and denser, rotate more slowly, and have thinner atmospheres and weaker magnetic fields. All of the planets orbit the Sun on nearly the same plane, in the same direction. Their motion is direct, which means they move in an anti-clockwise direction, as seen from the North Pole of the Earth. Except for Venus and Uranus, their rotation is direct too. The Sun also rotates in this direction. Planets are kept in orbit by the gravity of the Sun. The mass of the Sun is 750 times larger than the total mass of the planets. There is also gravitational force between the planets. Therefore, they influence each other's motion. As a result, their orbits might undergo slow, minor changes. Besides planets, there are billions of small objects in the solar system. Asteroids can be found just about everywhere. Many of them have orbits that cross that of the Earth. Most of the asteroids are located in two zones. The inner asteroid belt is between Mars and Jupiter, where there are at least one billion asteroids larger than one kilometer in diameter. The outer belt, i.e. the Kuiper belt, is located beyond the orbit of Neptune, where several thousand Pluto-like icy asteroids have been discovered. Since 2006, Pluto has no longer been considered a planet as several larger objects have been found beyond Neptune. Pluto and a few other large asteroids are called dwarf planets. The orbits of the majority of the comets are entirely different from that of other objects. They have elongated elliptical orbits with different orbital planes. As the 5 to 20 kilometer large icy core evaporates near the Sun, a rare spectacular tail is formed. Due to solar wind, this tail points away from the Sun. Billions of comets orbit in the Oort cloud, the outer region of the solar system, 0.5 to 2 light years from the Sun. Since 1995, numerous exoplanets have been discovered around hundreds of stars. In many of these systems, giant planets orbit the stars. Therefore, we can safely assume they are not similar to our solar system.